detox, actually. You are? Yeah, I'm trying to get it, to get it together. Get on the 13 coffees a day, that'll detox. <laughs> I know! Detox the fuck out of It's really good for the bowel movement. Alright. Oh. Right up. Alrighty. Yeah. All right, just, you know, do your best attempt at an introduction, and if I fucking hate it, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so welcome to TMR News. Uh, here we are again for our second edition, and we are here to talk about uh, everything that makes the world turn and everything that's important in this world. And we've broken it down for you again, so we're going to list off a few important uh uh, points of where we're going with today's news and then you yeah, know you can stay around and listen or you can leave or you know, whatever you want to do yeah. we're okay with that anarchist news <laughs> anarchist news <laughs> it is a bit like that okay this week I'll be doing most of the talking because last week Sean was kind enough to bring the vast majority of our stories and today someone else is uh, listening we'll just, to we're just here for comic relief alright yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah, keep yeah, it yeah. light alright <laughs> so you know next time Chris is gonna provide provide <laughs> you with the content now um, our first piece of news and this is freaking unbelievable I, I'm gonna struggle to not swear in the next two minutes it's local news um, it is local. Yeah. Our police, our guardians, they keep <laughs> us safe. They make you sleep soundly at yeah. night. Are looking after us again with with cameras. They are going to film you from distances of about 700 meters while yeah. you're not looking in your car. And should you look distracted, should you be, I don't know, if you're a girl putting on some makeup or looking around or maybe eating a burger or checking your phone while stuck in traffic as any normal human being would do, um, $433 fine. It is more than speeding 30Ks in excess and for the merit points. And, um, it, uh, like, it, is this making us safer, Sean? Like, what, what, what do you guys think about it? Well, I, I, mean, I, I, well, I can see some police stations getting burned down. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a good idea. I don't any fingers. But I say, when, when, when some of those fines come out, I can see some people getting really <laughs> look, angry. Look, I mean, I think it's just, obviously, it's all just another money grab. Obviously, there are people in dark rooms sitting there going, I wonder how we can get more money out of these motherfuckers. And, like, you just, you just can imagine, like, you know, there are actually people there because, I mean, it's just this perpetual motion fucking system where the government system where they get bigger and then they get results it's sort of like okay yeah sure you can just put rules and laws and anything that you want on these people and okay yeah sure it's, it's going to save some lives but like when is it the time where enough is enough it'll probably and save I mean, some lives yeah, I, I, I mean you could you could put laws on on and everything and you could make sure people d walk on the dotted line for yeah. their whole life but if, yeah, but on a yeah, serious you know, note everybody, everybody listen yeah. if if we were to feed everybody um irradiated food which is bacteria free yeah and put them in stray jackets we are gonna save save some lives thousands <laughs> save some fucking lives definitely and <laughs> save the children <laughs> so, but on a serious note when we had our speed cameras for our cars you know so you're breaking the speed camera indiscreet car on the side of the roads filming you as you break the mm. speed limit uh, that was all done by the police and then a private company took it over and of course a private company's got to make a profit they're going to turn it over so many hours a day, so many fines, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So this is just another... Now the police are running this particular opera operation. Yeah, yeah. But before you know it, it'll be another private company buying the contract from the government yep, and, yep. and out there r raking in revenue for the, for the government, making a profit. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's just... Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to cut you guys off there because uh, this is the brief part and we're going to talk about all of these stories in much more detail. The next two are exactly on the same topic. There are crazy I interesting news in the realm of alternative fuels. The US military is working on projects that in a decade should stop their use of um, tankers for the Navy, for the yeah. Navy ships. They're going to be synthesizing a um, like a, a carbon-based water fuel mm from seawater. So they'll be basically using their nuclear reactors and uh, 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 reworking seawater to create a fuel. And then from that, all the other ships are going to refuel. Pretty interesting. They should have that with a decade. I don't know how much it's going to change the world because if it's owned by the US military, it certainly it's isn't going to be any, any kids while. in Africa. <laughs> um, even more interesting, even more sensational, a, um, a company 
again in the U.S. and it, it's uh, S F dash C H C I H T um, cell. So I don't know what the acronym stands for, but it's a solid water based plasma fuel. So think of something I don't know solid and water based. The only thing I can think of solid and water based is ice, and you pass a massive amount of electricity through it. It turns into plasma, which is like sun. It turns yeah. into basically a super, you know, fifty thousand times brighter than than uh, the sun. You put solar panels all around it, and you take off the electricity. Yeah. And so this thing apparently costs twenty five dollars a kilowatt. Your solar panels cost a dollar a watt, which is a hundred dollar. Uh, sorry, a thousand dollars a kilowatt. So you know, go figure. I mean, this is this could be a revolution in power generation. Yeah. Um, they don't make any claims about it being anything like free energy or over unity, but it, it's simply a highly potent, not very expensive, fuel-based power generation, and that th this could be, you know, a well, game changer. I, hopefully, the uh, people who invented that will be around long enough to be able to see it through this time. <laughs> yeah, he, hopefully, they don't get knocked off or have an accident driving home or you know, get yeah, fined so much that they commit suicide or something like that. Well, and what generally well, like happens? Generally what generally happens? They get they they get so, they get bought out by Chevron or Woodside. Yeah. Or I'll be offered exorbitant amounts of money for the know. technology, and, 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 and they up. and they say yeah. something along the lines: "We are looking for a bright future for the world with this." Like I never, uh, I'll, I'll break my own rule and go slightly off topic. But there was a presentation by this guy called uh, <coughs> Peter Diamandis, and he was saying how great this company was for inventing the cheapest water purifying system in the world mm -hmm. and how they are going to finally bring drinking water to all of Africa because they have gotten massive investment. They sold out to Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. And of course this was like four years ago. Nothing has happened on the front. Like a major corporation is not that they, they, they benefit from scarcity. Mm -hmm. They're never going to you know, leverage one of these technologies to make life Well, these Africans should be money. buying bottled water, Sonny. I think Probably so. Probably Evian. <laughs> it's French. They've got a damn bad. They should be. They it's should better be. for the economy. It's better for the world population. Mm -hmm. because better for Nestle. Better for mm -hmm. Nestle. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You can build homes wins. out of those bottles. Everyone wins. And you can build homes out of those bottles. And with the leftover ones, you can make works of art. Iraq, they come to works Australia. It <laughs> works of art I mean, on the beach. I'd say if you're Nestle, I would, we got now. <laughs> you know, I would say if you're Nestle, you're probably thinking the spare bottles are a lot better than the spare Africans. You know, like I think that yeah. is literally uh, the, the, the the mindset in terms of these giant multinational companies yeah. is human life just doesn't... No, it doesn't factor in, of course not. It no, never does. Like, no, no, of course not. Unless you can burn those bodies to run the boiler, <laughs> to, to, to make fuel, to make to run the engines of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of uh, capitalism. Maybe if they insured them and then i don't know but they, it's how a very much oil is in a human body compared to a baby seal well i don't know <laughs> maybe in the mediterranean regions is a bit more <laughs> <laughs> all right next story um google has just uh applied for a whole host of patents to be making contact lens cameras um Contact yeah. lens camera, that's what you want. I, you want the police... Imagine you... imagine the amount of porn on the net then. Just put your contact lens in, she wouldn't even know. So that man sitting at the table... Oh, man, so yeah, so, so, so the guy sitting at the table in McDonald's, right, <laughs> drooling, he's not exactly drooling over the burger, he could be downloading porn on his friggin' contacts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could, like... I mean... You know, the next thing's going to be you'd get like a subscription to, I don't know, some 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 CD sports yeah, style. Like, Voyager, type buddy, of Voyager like, yeah, yeah, know. like you, you'd be like Buddy Franklin for a day with, with his. Yeah. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, no, that'd be the best. Oh, no, that's true too. Like, I mean, could you like. Put that feed to the internet, and then you know you could just like. You could rent this it is out. What I'm no. doing. This is what. Yeah, yeah. You could rent it out. I mean, that's coming. That's like, awesome. You were, you know, someone like Kim Kardashian. That's, that's it's, it's like, like you'd be paying fifty bucks a day to be Kim Kardashian, and then you'd be seeing like I'd be I'd be Kanye, Kanye on top of yours or something. It'd be yeah, terrible. I know. But um, 
Anyway, that's uh, that, that takes reality TV to a whole new level. Like that's that's um, that sounds like there would be a lot a lot of people out there that would uh, be. Hey, well, I want to be I want to be George Bush. Uh, I'd yeah. just make him jump off a fucking cliff. <laughs> 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 Driving my car into a brick wall. Well, uh, <laughs> the all right. So I've got um, I just got a uh, two more very quick ones. Yeah, Russia and China are about to sign, and they reckon they'll have it done by the end of May. The biggest ever gas deal between the two countries, and of course, this is followed uh, by the news that Russians are provoking Americans in the Black Sea region. Mm. It's like, mm. well, Black Sea is in Russia, right? I'll give you something. <laughs> that, <that's the> Black <laughs> sea, to, give you, <laughs> to give you an idea, it's like oh, me stabbing right. myself with yeah. guns and going to your house. <laughs> And saying, why are you provoking me? No, no. Well, you are. No, here's a better one. <laughs> You're the looking Russian, at me the wrong way. The yeah. Russian fleet are up in those Great Lakes between Canada and USA, just <laughs> doing circles. Yeah, I know, that's, yeah. that's provoking. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and no, no, no. And then, uh, like, yeah, it'd be like the Russians. The Russians were being like, if they were in the Great Lakes, of, like next to Chicago, yeah, and yeah. some American jet flies by, like, imagine them saying we're being provoked here. Like that. Yeah. It's like. Well, I think I think I you can look at it from the example is, could you imagine if Russia decided? Decided that uh, Mexico wasn't getting enough democracy, and they wanted to go down there and yeah, spread the word around <laughs> 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 the border. Did you see the Americans' reaction to that? Yeah, yeah. It, it, no, like something is in, something is insane here. All right, finally, um, Sean, you brought us this one. But, um, what happened? Oh, look, um, there, there, I just actually ha eventuated probably about twelve hours ago. Um, just yeah, there was uh, there's a Nigerian uh, terrorist group, Islamic terrorist group, and they do they've got you know obviously big problems with uh, anything to do with the West, and there's a lot of Western you know educated students, and they happen to go to a girls' boarding school and kidnap a hundred um, uh, you know of these uh, board boarding school girls, and they've they've taken them, and no one knows where they are now. So. Yeah, I, normally, you know, kidnapping stories aren't, aren't too popular, but I was like, a hundred schoolgirls? Yeah, that, that might be worth a mention. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to kidnap a hundred people. I, I never kidnapped anyone, but I'm trying to imagine the logistics of like a hundred people. A hundred schoolgirls. You need like three school. buses, man. Like, Surely, yeah. And you need to go to <laughs> people. Like, you wouldn't want that going wrong. Like, the, other, think, the other yeah. question is, too, is, is that why, why don't they like uh, these kids getting taught in the Western way? Is it because they just don't like women, girls to be educated? I is think that, that's is that where we're at? We don't want educated people. We want to no. live under the um, their uh, what is it? The Quran. Mm. You know? Dude, the, the Wahhabis is like. I mean, I the ninety five percent of Muslims are. How do I say? You know, no different from. 95% of Christians in the West when yeah. when you look at the general cross-section of how they spend their day and what their values are. Yeah. But, you know, I don't think we have a, 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 an exact equivalent of these people that take this stuff literally. And it's... it's not A lot of the Wahhabism is literally uh, people blindly believing um, cult leaders. Like, they have, like, religious mullahs. Yeah. Yeah. So if I go and I start a mosque and everybody in my area is illiterate, I mean, I can say, oh, I just read this and it says that... I spoke to Allah last night. You should give me... <laughs> yeah. Good God. It, you know, God said that you're going to give me your wife every Sunday or that you will burn in hell forever. Yeah, right. You know, but, like, but no, like, not you, your wife's too fat. Like, it, 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 it has nothing. Like, what I'm saying is that these, that these guys... Um, I have a very good friend that grew up in Afghanistan, yeah, yeah. and he said that those guys had n nothing to yeah. do with genuinely following a religion. No, but no. isn't that why you got chucked out of Afghanistan, Sonny? Is that, is that, is that <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, that's, that's the problem now that they're having a lot in Saudi Arabia. Well, it's not a problem for the people <laughs> making the law, there's Sharia law and that, but it's it's the uh, it's the, the actual princes there. It's actually written like in the scriptures that they can actually like well they've written it in that they can actually create the law as they go so it's sort of like no you're not allowed to buy anything like in the pure fundamentalist like it's, it's Saudi Arabian like Islamic culture you're not allowed to buy anything from the West 
unless you're these people, unless you're like the people with yeah. all the money. <laughs> and then so they can buy, they can buy all the sports cars and Lamborghinis and all that, but no one else is allowed to buy them. And then you're not allowed to like do, like, so they just create the law as they it, go. It, it's just and then they say, up. all you guys have to follow it. Yeah. You know, and you if you don't, what, you're you know, what the, yeah. the worst thing is? Yeah. The Saudis have to be the most uneducated uh, 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 Muslims of them all. I mean, they are really yeah. I mean, backward coming forward. Dude, I, mean, <laughs> I went to an international school when I was a kid. And, you yeah. know, whatever. Was that in the Ukraine there, uh, Sonny? Libya. <laughs> Libya. <laughs> you're, you're linking me with every third world country that ever <laughs> existed. That's the, uh, that's the running joke. Yeah. When they mention some like anonymous place that no one's ever heard of, oh, that's where you're from, <laughs> Sonny. Yeah, like, yeah. You back in stead. But um, <laughs> the the thing I'll never forget, yeah. you know, and, and this may sound a little racist, but we had, as I said, kids from a hundred different countries. Yeah. And these people from the Gulf, and I'm talking uh, Qatar, uh, the Emirates, Saudi Arabia. Um, they have a number of different Emirates as well as Bahrain and yep. I don't know a couple of those places. But whatever. Every time you see these kids from the Gulf, man, they're not very bright. And I'd say I'd say it's the inbreeding because their dad's their uncle and it's hey, just like hey, it is inbreeding is not racism. Is it's not a racist issue. Is that Islamic issue. or is that? Is that is that like is that part of Islam? no? It's not the no, no, that, no, it's just but like the, what the is whole it? thing. <laughs> who who are the diplomats? They're the royal family. Yes, yeah. oh, the royal yeah. families. No, they like their bloodlines, don't they? Maintain their wealth, and that's why they and into, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, the normal people there are just normal, but it, it's just like you know, half the monarchs in the world are inbred and half insane. You know, like it, it, it's inbreeding's a bad freaking idea. Mm. Yeah, it's and, not the best. Um, no, not when uh, your son looks like a camel. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the other hand, you know, when you look at these Arabs, right? Um, you go to the Gulf, as I say, and they have all the money in the world, but they, oh, they, they just have the lowest level of achievement of anything. It's just oil money. Yeah. And you go to somewhere like Palestine, where they have nothing, nothing. They are being shot at like 16 hours a day, mm. and 99.9% .9 literacy rate, and these people yeah. are really, you know, yeah, switched yeah. on, know what's going on in the world, really smart. And like, yeah. it's, it's a very, um, very strange thing to contemplate. And, you know... They're Arabs. No, I don't think that the, the genetical material is yeah. very different between people oh, no. from the Gulf versus Palestine. But no. it just tells you that what's going on in Saudi Arabia yeah. and the Gulf is probably one of the most corrosive cultures yeah. to to human so you, what's, development. What's that red light on your chest there? <laughs> You're talking about one of the worst... <laughs> the worst races on the planet. Yeah. I'm not going to say they're the worst as in what they are. Not they races, don't, cultures. Well, cultures, cultures, they don't cultures. like, they don't like any criticism whatsoever. They don't like, they don't criticism. like, they don't like anyone telling well, them what to do. That's the only way that you can improve yourself. If you know, if you're the, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're probably the, in the wrong room. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so like, I mean, you, the only way you're going to improve yourself is someone's going, Hold on there, hold on there. I know what you're doing there, and that's pretty fucked up. Maybe you should fucking rethink that and move ahead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but no one's saying that. And like, that, if someone does say something like that, then it's sort of like, well, we're gonna kill you, or we're gonna lock you in jail, or we're gonna fucking do something. It's a totalitarian yeah, dictatorship know, by a royal family. I mean, like, human <laughs> beings are meant to have moved on from this shit like 200 years ago. And yeah, it, they're only supported by the U.S. and the British. And I know because they they provide the petroleum. So like, no. Nah, look, I am absolutely. Uh, uh, um, how do I put it? I there's a million cultures that I would love, adore, and and put above even my own and the one that I live in. But from what I've seen about the Gulf, there is uh, like something's pretty wrong over there. And uh, oh, big time. Well, I mean, yeah. even Qatar, for example. I mean, that story just came out last week. Like with the, where they're having the uh, twenty twenty two World Cup, um, the the host city hasn't even been built yet. <laughs> like, the, the host city for the twenty twenty World Cup hasn't even. Been, there's not even a city there yet. It's just a patch of ground. They're like, we'll build a city there if we can have the World Cup, and then they're just going to build this like fucking five million person city. 
Italy. She's like, yeah, no, because <laughs> we need to go out to the World Cup somewhere, so we're going to build it and build all these stadiums around. It's going to be glorious. And you should see the plans for it. It's ridiculous. And that's what happens when you've got a lot of oil under your country. You just build a city for a, fucking, <laughs> for a football game. Like, yeah, why not? All right. The, um, that, I think that, that concludes our summary. There was one more story. And, in fact, uh, I think I we're going to cover this story as a start of our extended edition. So in the extended edition, we're going to talk about all the news we mentioned so far, but we'll discuss it and go on, on even more tangents and then I think we started going on tangents with the whole Gulf states but mm-hmm. nonetheless um, let's, let's move on to this one because this is something interesting Chris I know that there's a particular talk show host that uh, you, you do listen to and has been talking about this for the last four days there was a a standoff yeah. oh the Bundy a, Ranch the Bundy Ranch mm, like are you are you glued into it? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's incredible. It. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know about this. Well, the Bundy Ranch is a... Is a uh, oh, oh they're, they're not... Uh, Mormon, Mormon ranches, right? Mormons? Mormons, yeah. I think they're Mormons. I love the Mormons. They've been, wow. on, they're, they're, they've been, on, they've been on this ranch for like, I don't know, four or five generations, you know, hundreds of years. Wow. Yeah, they've been there forever. And they had grazing rights. This is before they even had a, um, a federal government, I think. They, they just graze this, it wasn't their land, they've got their land and there's this national park, yeah. and the park they've been grazing on, they've had grazing rights for, for hundreds of years, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, the federal government or the land management, which is BLM. called the BLM, yeah. land, management, of land management, they were supposed to just be managing land, but now they're not managing land, now they're enforcing it, and, and what I find, I know this is a little bit off topic, but what I find is, it seems in America, every government department has an armed SWAT team. You know, like, <laughs> the Amigent has snipers, <laughs> fucking gun-totaling morons, right? Yeah, like, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised that the National Library, if you don't bring your library book back, there's a SWAT team <laughs> there. I was thinking about it the other night, I'm going, the well, there's, there's a fucking SWAT team yeah. in everything. You could be... You could be, I don't know. But why? But why? And I think it's obvious why, well, right? Well, the thing is, they want to take this land, they want this land back. They don't want him grazing on it anymore. And he said, well, I have land, I have uh, grazing, uh, rights. grazing rights. But what they've been doing, they've been muscling out the farmers in the U.S. The big corporations want to run all the farms. They don't want family farms anymore. And so they've been muscling these people out. May, may, been, may I just, like, uh, this is how interject? It. May I just, just interject? Like, and th- this is how much America has changed. In the, in the 30s, in the turn of the century, America was famous, right, for saying we are not going to have these British land aristocracy. We're not going to have a few people owning all the land, and we're not going to have companies owning all the land. No. They were literally handing out land um, and giving out practically interest-free loans to people that were going to build houses on that land. So they were just giving land to the people. So we have hundreds of thousands of farmers, and they own the land. And that way we have people owning the land, and they'll be producing for everybody. They'll be competing against each other. So you, they were America was built, even, like, I think the last person to do that was... Um, well, it was after Second World War. They were still handing out land to the uh, returned servicemen. So there I, was, I was going to say uh, the last person to do that was Theodore Roosevelt. And he was there just after the Second World War. Yeah. And no, 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 wait. Truman took over uh, at the end of the Second World War. So it was. But in a country whose culture it was to, to, to give out this vast amount of you know, empty land to individuals yeah, well. who are going to farm on it, is now doing the exact opposite, where big corporations are just buying out little farmers everywhere. Yeah. And the federal government is just raising all, making up all kinds of uh, this grazing rights, this management, and, like they're making up all kinds of rules and regulations to kick the little farmers out. And yeah. But this is this is not state. This is federal. This is this is USA federal government that's uh, that's trying to uh, kick him out off this land. And you know they've uh, they've, uh, they've they've like I said they've been using the land for hundreds of years. And uh, they've come in and they've decided that, no, no, we're going to, they, they've got a solar farm project, as far as I know. Yep. Some Chinese company wants to come in. I don't know if it's exactly... Associated with Harry Reid, who is the Senate majority leader. Um, so politicians with their hands in the trough, yep. noses in the trough, uh, making deals, and, and, uh, and but they've got to get rid of the grazier, right? You can't have that in there and, and do your solar farm. But the point is, is that this is going on right throughout the US, and... And the, uh, they even had a spot there where people were coming to help this farmer out, right? They wanted, they didn't want him to get shot. They didn't want it to be a, an all-out uh, assault. 
Mm. So there's pe- all these people have rolled up and the uh, government's decided, no, we're going to have a uh, Second Amendment, freedom of speech area, where you can all stand. And the Americans, because you know how crazy they can get, what do you mean? I thought we could speak freely anywhere. You know, there's no, well, you've just got to be here. Mm. Unlike our country where we don't have freedom of speech. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, we don't feel we don't have a, in Victoria, well, we, well, we don't have a constitution. You, you don't have a freedom to fucking yeah. eat a sandwich in your car. Set up this this Second Amendment area where where you could only have three speeches, you know, reporters and people, and they pretty much said, "Ah, uh, no, nah, that doesn't work. You can't do that. What are you? What are you rewriting? Or rewriting the Constitution now? So uh, you know, it's going to be. It, it's come off all right, but as far as I can see. They've, uh, the, this uh, BLM's pulled but out. Just to put it ex- explicitly, what supposedly happened is that a bunch of, like, cowboys, literally on, on like, horseback, man. This is... Yeah, but they had a few uh, few of those... Uh, what do they call those uh, lot? The uh, military... Not military. The ex-military veterans. And yeah, but they come down with their guns. The yeah. militia. The militia yeah. come down. A yeah. few guys with but guns and stuff. And, they, and they, they, they back down. But I've also heard that the hotels are being all booked up by federal government employees. So I don't know whether the FBI is down there. I don't know whether uh, other groups are down there. But they seem to be loading up all the hotels now, even though the BLM is back down. But they're now they're filling it up with federal. So I think they're going to have another go once yeah. everyone's cleared off. So well, we'll wait and see what happens. Oh, and now they're calling him a domestic terrorist, this uh, bundle oh. guy. I think it's great. You know, like you, you try to stand up for your own rights and you know you're a domestic terrorist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're evil because you just want to graze and grow cattle. It, it, like, your family's been doing this for like 200 years and somebody 20 years ago invented a department that wants your money. Mm. Yeah. And... And you are the terrorist. And you can yeah. imagine if you've got your own yeah. snipers, you've got your own SWAT team, you've got all this, you've got all these vehicles and all this equipment. Mm. You're getting huge funding. So yeah. You've got to do what? something with it. Well, I mean, why, why is you standing around smiling your ass, right, right. Chris? But like, I think there's nothing really sort of highly sinister about why they all have their own SWAT team and snipers. It's not that they've been planning, like Alex Jones said, to well, every man in the country oh, has guns. So like you know, take take over and fight the civilians and whatever. You know, put everybody in FEMA camps. But think about it this way. Their biggest industry is oil companies, which are now multinational. So that, in effect, the biggest domestic, the biggest employer domestically in America is defense. Defense means the guys that manufacture the SWAT team cars. So, like, these guys are the biggest, like... They don't even need to bribe politicians. Politicians beg them to come to their state because they're going to employ 10,000 people. Yeah. So the main industry, the whole country, is producing weapons. So if, if that's your main industry, then somebody's got to buy it. So if if I'm a senator from Arizona and I'm begging, you know, uh, Raytheon to come to Arizona because they're going to bring 20,000 jobs, then I'm also going to promise Raytheon, yes, I'll buy your SWAT tanks. Yeah. And so now what, what's happening, because this industry is so prolific, is that they have pushed on, you know, space age weaponry on local sure. cop department. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you live in a little town, you know, with two hundred people. Literally, there's a brawl like once a month, and they deliver you your own SWAT yeah. tank, crowd control unit, Apache helicopter, ready to take out a bar fight. <laughs> drones. <laughs> We're gonna fly some drones in there. Yeah. I mean. It, no, the, it, you know, it's a comedy, but that's really genuinely what's yeah, going on in America. I know. Oh, well, it'll all burn one day. We'll and see it, what happens. Like, think of the people that are the cops. No, that's, like, that's, imagine you're sitting there, you, you spent a yeah, lifetime yeah. watching Rambo movies. Yeah, I know. I was about to say that. <laughs> and that's 20 years of Rambo. Yeah. That concept of, like, local authority, the mindset, the mentality of the local authority you know, personnel with their mindset of control. Now, I've got a lot of police in my family, so, I mean, I think about this quite a bit. You know, but I, I sort of try and get in the head of it because, you know, all nothing, nothing, like, it's the same as someone in the army. Nothing like this happens unless these people are there 
following orders from, you know, from mm. up top. Nothing happens. Like, everything breaks down. If these people go, hold on, what I'm doing is a bit fucked up here. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do this anymore. Or, like, there's some sort of, you know, disinterest in the ranks of, like, you know, the line lo local cops and that. They're like, actually, beating these people and putting capsicum spray in their face because they're trying to save a tree is probably not the thing I should be doing. You know what I mean? Wait a minute, wait a minute. If Sean, what are they wearing uniform? Oh, no, 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 no. It's one in, all yeah. in. And if you can't fit that mould, yeah, you, you get assholes really quick. That's you, do, you do, you do, you do. Yeah, I mean, it just blows my mind because, I mean, everything everything we're talking about, it's not the people at the top. The people at the top are the guys that have, like, they're just the ones pointing fingers and going, you do that and you do that, and yeah, this will be a good idea. It's all a bit of a game, you know what I mean? It's all like, yeah, yeah, yeah they're paid, they're paid. Yeah, no, yeah. they are, but the ones, the line, the, if we're going yeah. to get anywhere in this, like, game of fucking chess, like international chess and that, that it, the way it's going to happen, the way that we're going to make any like you know consciousness leap of you know human beings becoming more peaceful is getting to those people uh, on the bottom lines of of, Dude, I, of con the control system. I'll you know never what I mean? forget this. I've I've tried to had have, have conversations uh, during Occupy Melbourne. Yep. There was always a whole lot of cops. I mean, it was, you could not be in that sort of main occupation area without there being five cops around. Yeah. Like Twenty four seven and. Um, People were really nice and they were bringing them free food, drinks, and you know, some of the cops were quite nice and I wound up talking to a few of them and I asked them, so what did they order you to kick us out? They said, well, well we, what we do is we follow orders. And mm -hmm. well, is that, you know, are there any orders you wouldn't follow? No, what we do, what we sign up to do is we follow orders. Like, well, what, if yeah. they ordered, what if they ordered you to shoot at us? And, like, stop asking me, and then, well, instead of actually saying that they would shoot at us, uh, probably, I don't know, like, that was probably, it got to them, it's like, you know, like, look, I, I'm done talking to you, like, stop asking me these questions, well, I mean... Now you're making them you think. Know, because, yeah, I know, uh, exactly, now you're Because, you know, they said that, uh, I think, uh, you know, we just follow orders, and the reason we follow orders is because it's the right thing to do and nobody would order us to shoot at you. And I'm like... Oh, well, about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm uh. thinking about the number of times in history that police and military have shot at their own people is freaking countless. Yeah, but you can also, you can also understand this. You've got your, you got your traffic cop, you've got your mm. detective, you've got your beat cop, you've got your highway patrol cop, mm. and then you've got the SWAT cop, right? The SWAT oh, cop yeah. Oh, yeah, are all mentally disturbed, right? Yeah. You don't get into SWAT. I mean, when I was in, when I was doing the army thing, we trained with the on the rifle range with the SWAT team mm. at the time. I'm mm. not going to mention the year, and they're all a bunch of freaks, right? They're all gun freaks, all nutbags, and I'm surprised they could even have any type of discipline whatsoever because yeah. they all thought they were Clint Eastwood yeah. and Rambo. <laughs> like you just, how do you, and, and that was one of the one things that when, when, when our officer in charge at the time couldn't figure out. Goes, you know, like in the army, it's one in all in, right? You're either in or you're out. That, there's no, there's no. You don't think for yourself, and that's probably why yeah. I got thrown out. But when we saw them in what what they're doing, their job, how do you control these guys? You can't. Yeah. They're all narcissistic, fucking morons. Yeah. But that's who they recruit for that job because those are the guys that go, hey, you got to shoot these protesters. They're getting out of control. No, no, yeah. They're zombies. They're zombies. Zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Mate, they'd, be there, they'd pull out their gun in a second wouldn't even think about it. Yeah. But do you know what? At the end of the day, they would never, ever think that one day they could be standing up in court and someone could be saying, well, you, you pulled the trigger, mate. Doesn't matter who, yeah. who ordered you. You yeah, pulled the yeah. trigger. Yeah, exactly. they wouldn't get, they'd be the, in jail. They'd be, the, you know, they'd be in jail before you know it. They, yeah, yeah. They, wouldn't, they wouldn't still be thinking about it. Why? Why am I in jail? Yeah, yeah. People are told. <laughs> You got yeah. your people. Yeah. Bash that baby over the head. Yeah, I know, yeah. You know, like, that's just the way it is. That's what I suppose. They, what they employ the. I mean, I just yeah. heard something really good the other day. The high court judge in the U.S. Right, the the top. I think it's about fifteen of them. Mm. The top top court. Their high court. Everyone in there has got some sort of corruption in their background of how they got to that position. Oh. They've done. They've done the wrong thing. Yeah. And what happens is that I'm not going to say the president. I'm going to say the public servants around the president. You're talking, about, you're talking about the U.S., yeah? In the U.S., yeah. yeah. And they've, they've brought all these people to the top, and they go, well, why are these really good uh, judges who want to become the high court judges? Like, they've always done the right thing. They've got a great track record. They mm -hmm. never make it to high court judge.
It's because they've got nothing on them. Yeah. It is, you're they so right. They only right. bring up the guys who they've who are corrupt, yeah. who have been caught out in the past, so they can be controlled. I yeah. would encourage everybody to go out and Google Russell Tice. He's an NSA whistleblower, and he personally was responsible for doing background checks on candidates for the Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah. And he said he wasn't the guy selecting the judges. He was just doing background checks. He'd do background checks on all the candidates. And he said, like, I could always predict who was going to get selected. And it was always the dirtiest of the <laughs> all. shit. And, like, you kind of see the system. You, you only make it if you're blackmailable. And then the people who've put you there can control you. Yeah. That's right. Because if you're just an honest person and you have a high, powerful position in an yeah. institution like the Supreme Court... You're unpredictable. Then then yeah, you God knows what you can do. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, and this is the trouble. And people vote thinking they're voting. Uh, they're always selecting from people that are already compromised. Yeah. And so you're thinking this guy. Well, you know, when you looked at Barack Obama initially, and I mean, that was about the last time I was majorly fooled by the media. You know, yeah, yeah. I was saying, well. You know, he's taking all this money from these corporations, but he'll shaft them for the people. And, uh, you know, I I honestly think that the guy might even have had some good intentions. I don't know if he's if he's just a, a really evil person. He's done, he's done more evil shit than Bush. Yeah. But the bottom line is, is I think... He's black. Sorry. I think that guy has so many skeletons in his closet yeah. because... You could predict his every move on every major issue on the basis of what major corporations want. Yeah. Of uh, his foreign policy has been oh, well, especially with neocon the, foreign es policy, especially with the uh, GFC and like him putting Ben uh, Bernanke in his uh, like and then and like just you know bailing out the banks and that. Like I mean, he he did, he, he played the fiddle perfectly, didn't he? Like, yeah, it, absolutely perfect. He was like, no, he did. He was worse than Bush, and I mean, yeah. all I can say He's is Bush with charisma that <laughs> there is no normal human being, right? No, that would sit there and objectively make these decisions. Yeah. Like, you would have to be uh, either hateful or indifferent towards the, 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 the good of the common people. Yeah. Or completely blackmailed. And... Uh, well, I reckon he's a CIA uh, student. On, on, yeah. on, on that scale, I'd say it's... I would... M much more bet that he's completely blackmailed than he himself yeah. being some giant strong insider acting for his own you know like yeah. that's such a stage like I mean how do you how do you even stand up there and go hold on what was I told what's the truth and what do I have to say so like do you, are you like you go look I know like I've been told what to say this is just what I'm going to say because you can't be standing up there on the world stage going look I know that I'm not telling the truth at the moment but I've got to say this and what actually what was I supposed to say in that instance <laughs> I know that's fucking not right, but is that what, like? Because I mean, how ma how many stories could you have in your head going around? How you could, you'd have to think that that's you're why the truth. he's having the teleprompter with him everywhere. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the number of lies that he has to keep up with yeah, is know, just so right. big. Yeah, why, can't why, can't that, why can't the whistleblower that writes his stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Who writes every one of his scripts, yeah. come out and say, "Oh yeah, I got to keep track of all of them." You know, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got an algorithmic fucking uh, yeah, know, yeah. computer running in my life to make sure they all come. To together yeah no, no it, um, but you know what I, I you know what I, that's, that's the funniest thing is you couldn't pick a better president because he could stand there and take money from the poorest people in America the black yeah. unemployed the black youth people. right no I'm sorry I'm, I'm, this, uh, these are yeah. the, you know the, 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 the Mexicans the, the blacks you know he could take money from them and he could look them in the face on Oprah and go oh you know uh, you know, uh, things things are getting better, and uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm here for you. Well, Just I mean, after he's written out a bill saying I'm taking your welfare for like check, like seven trillion dollars, yeah. uh, and I'm taking your welfare bank. check, and I'm not going to. And all those they fuck you over, and now we're going to take eleven trillion, and then we're going to oh. give it straight back to him, and oh, he's going to pay for it. And, like, and the food yeah. stamps. Yeah, you know, you're, you're wasting them. And then Obamacare, <laughs> and then oh no, I'm trying to give you all all insurance. I'm trying to give you all fr free healthcare, but then you have to pay money to the insurance companies to get them rich. And, and then we'll subsidise yeah. insurance companies if you don't. Yeah, I know, that. and then we'll give money back to the insurance company. Uh, by the way, I'll, I'll give a plug to a, an awesome channel. Uh, have, you, have you guys seen the Joy Camp video on uh, on Obamacare? No. no. 
It's too good. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm tempted to... Uh, Put a link. Put a link. Yeah, I'll, I'll put down a link here. in there. Somewhere it's down in there. Yeah. The... I'll, I'll actually write a note for myself in 41 minutes link to Joy Camp. Yeah. But, um... It, it's like... These guys, they knock on doors. And right. the guy is, like, not answering because he's seeing it's some bloody salesman. And it's right. like, Obamacare! Oh, we see your home! We see your home! Obamacare, and like the guy opens up and they pull out guns. Okay, we need you to, sir, it's for your own good. We need you to sign up for Obamacare. <laughs> and then he, you know, he signs up and he's like, okay, now pay us. <laughs> it's affordable health care, not free health care. What did you think you're signing up for? <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. And, no. um,. Like it was, it, but you should see the sketch. It's actually hilarious. Like I hope I didn't. I, hope I, I saw didn't. the I saw the Joy Camp for the new iPhone uh, Spy Phone Five. I, iPhone Five. That is it? that is so funny. But like, let, let's just going back through these stories. I'd I'd like to touch back on I like on the speed camera one. Like oh, okay. be, because you know people outside Australia or people that have only lived in Australia. Uh, they don't get the perspective of what a controlled society this is. Like, you're being treated like a kid. Yep. There are fines and regulations for everything. everything yeah. Like, you can't ride your bicycle without a helmet. They're going to fine you for that. No, no, no. Like, yeah, when, when you go to Thailand, they are freer than what we are in Australia. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you can't... Like the third world country is freer than what we've got in Australia. If, if yeah. you were to, I don't know... Yeah, but like, wait a minute, we got a Prime Minister that puts on two socks, and he talks <laughs> to people like you and me, 40-year-old, 30-year-old yeah. adults, and goes, There's, this is the Ukrainian thing, right? There's goodies and baddies in this world. Goodies, the yeah. America, and baddies, the Russians. Yeah. And that's how he talks to us. Yeah. I mean, this freak yeah. thinks that we're all so, so fucking uneducated yeah, that we can't even take in the information and think of, he's got to tell us who the goodies and baddies are. Yeah. I mean, that's because that's how they explain it to him. I think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, going back to this notion of, like, what a controlled society we live in, we need, like, 5,000... You know, Chris, you know, in your profession, I mean, you know, you do projects, plumbing, mechanical services. God knows how many certificates and licenses. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Taxes. Insurance. I got three lots of liability insurance because I run three different types of businesses. So I can't use one for all. I got to have three different types. Yeah, yeah. It's um, ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think, like, right here, I. I well, I do workshops in education, and I gotta keep two working with children's check and teaching registration, and I gotta keep them up to date every year. We have a license for you know pretty soon mm. um, because it's dangerous for you. Butter will, will cause heart attacks. You're yeah, gonna need yeah. to get a license from the government yeah, yeah, yeah. to consume, consume butter. Yeah. I mean, it, it's. For your own good, they're not letting you ride a bike without a helmet. They're not letting you be distracted while you drive. Like they care about that. They just want to put a fine on it so they can raise the revenue. Yeah. We, but, we, we got we got so much. We, look, at the end of the day, our corporations don't pay tax like most other countries. Mm. Corporations, you know, the Starbucks and the and the Apples. You know, they make. We know how many iPads and, and iPhones they sell in this country. Yet I pay more tax than them. I, I'm sure of it. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're paying like, absolutely. Yeah. Know, they're paying nothing in tax, yeah. so that so the state and federal governments have to get their money from somewhere, and they can only get it from the working class. And but it, it, it's more than that, you know. You could just have a flat fifty percent tax, you know, and mm. leave us the fuck alone. But you're they are like tr managing behavior like we are in primary school. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and this is, um, oh, like, here's, we're installing these smart meters, which can connect to every device that you have, uh, for whatever reason. No, like, we, they're putting microphones in washing machines, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. They can be hacked. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's good for you. Like, all these, like, government programs to vaccinate every child against, I don't know, HPV, like the, the, the ovarian cancer virus, yeah. which is the least dangerous cancer per death uh, of all. Well, I, mean, I, can, I can talk but about that. But you're going to give, like, 
every single child in a country a shot. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. First, it was to give it to all the girls, right? And the cup, the the government was going to pay for the for the shots. You'd have to pay nothing. So this company that make, makes this HP, HPV shot, mm, yeah. right, was to go to all the girls. And they went, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's really good. Uh, so all the girls are going to get it, and we're going to give it to them free. So everyone just as soon as the people hear the word free, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah, my yeah, my yeah, daughter's yeah. got to get it. I'm going to get it to my daughter, right? Yeah. So then this this uh, pharmaceutical company went, but see, the boys can carry it. Now if all the girls have it, how can a boy carry it? You know, I mean, this is this yeah, is a ridiculous yeah. bit. Yeah. So what we should do is we should give it to the boys as well because that would stop them from carrying it. So now you've just doubled, plus, yeah, um, double. Well, in this country, you've done better than double your freaking profits because yeah, now you yeah. give it to all the boys. Now I know a lot about this because my son came home with a form, mm -hmm. and I distinctly wrote when I when he went to his school, I said if he gets a a, a shot for anything, yeah. I don't care if he's lying on the ground bleeding out. <laughs> if you give him a, a freaking shot of anything, I want to know about it before you give it to him, right? Yeah. He come home with this form, you know, the, the shot is mm. free, we're going to do it at this day, this is what it is. It was three different shots, right? All vaccines for something. Anyway, I read through it and I went, uh, blah, blah, blah. I ticked it, no, no, no. And then I wrote down in the bottom in comments, if you give, if you make a mistake and you accidentally give my son this shot, I will sue you <laughs> and there will be no school. And that was it. I wrote on it. I had a phone call from the school. They said, what are you saying? I said, if any way, shape, or form he gets this shot, and I haven't given you permission, I will sue you until you've got nothing left. Yeah. And I said to my son, when you went, when that day come, how many kid boys in your class, you know, how many boys mm -hmm. in the whole school, because they, it was on that particular day. All well, but two, probably. Three of them. So three. I said, three oh. parents read that form, did the research, oh and said, God. no, I'm not going to give my son that shot. Uh, three but parents. Across three. the board, I'll give you another example. Um, we have these water restrictions, you know, the government goes, we are running out of water. <laughs> Do not! That's fucking bullshit. Don't water your garden, have a two minute shower. No. Because a five minute shower is a crime against the environment. Now, Unless you're Check this person. out! <laughs> I was talking to yeah. the guy from the water authority who manages the water in Victoria. Mm. Um, actually, he did that job for 12 years. And he told me, like, the water restrictions are the biggest joke ever. Um, consumer water consumption is like 2%. 2%, yeah. 98% uh, is industry and agriculture. Yeah. And agriculture is the majority. It's like yeah. 60. Yeah. So all you needed to do is reduce um, the tiniest amount of like, and, and it's all beef. Yeah. So like if we slow down our beef production by like 2%, like water restrictions would be meaningless. Yeah, yeah. But they are like, so they're tackling water shortage problem by telling you, the people, yeah. take shorter showers. And I mean, it, and you have the least power to change that. Yeah, like, it's all about grazing yeah. for the millions of tons of meat we produce. I like eating meat. I like that it's cheap in this country. But I mean, mm. if the water availability is a problem, tackle... Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is, is even, this, consumer. Is, this is even easier than that. Forget about the beef cattle, because I like steak, right? So forget it, right? Yeah. <laughs> all you have to do is get a piece of paper and write down you will not farm cotton in this arid country. Full stop. No, no more problem with water whatsoever. Because cotton is the biggest consumer of water and poison to keep it running. And we, in the top end of Australian Queensland, we, we do cotton farming. If you ban that tomorrow, there wouldn't be an issue with the water. Full and stop. It, but it, you, see, you see the trend, though? Like, they treat people like they're stupid, and people respond like they're stupid. For, uh, because, I, like, they're lazy, not stupid. But... It, it's just like we're gonna control your life. Oh, 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 oh! Like you all gotta take these shots because we said so, even though they're fucking useless. Oh, you, you water restrictions. Like there's neighbors reporting neighbors for fines of hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Such and such was watering yeah, during the water. water restrictions, and like you're backstabbing your neighbors and friends. That know. it makes no difference. You're yeah. just like an idiot. Like it's, it's you're water. Your water restrictions yeah. make no difference. Yeah, it's a disconnect that they have to their environment and to information. It's sort of like, yeah, I mean, you know, we got this amazing device, the internet, that fucking gives us all the information that we could ever want about mm. anything. And I want to start watering my concrete again. again. But like, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's in the like, 60s Australian uh, tradition yeah. to wash my driveway down with the water. Yeah, exactly. But like, I mean, you know... Fluoride brings the concrete up. <laughs>
it's 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 us giving our power away to people. You know what I mean? Mm. It's us giving our power away to politicians. Well, we don't want to I fucking pay my taxes. I do this. I just want to come home, sit down, watch TV, and fuck. I don't want to think about that. I don't mm. want to think about corporate waste management. I don't want to think about fucking water. Oh, I'll do what I'm told. Yeah, okay. No, I shouldn't be eating. Oh, the football's on. Shouldn't be eating the sandwich in the car. I shouldn't be fucking doing this. No, no, fucking. Like it's not. It's like just giving your power away to these people who are fucking there just to make money out of you. You know what I mean? And it's like it's not questioning anything. And as soon as you question something and you bring up fucking logical, you know, discrepancies in society and that, you know, the majority of people will have a blank face, you know? So what do you do, Sean? What do you do, Sean? You know, you punch them. You punch them. <laughs> <You're laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I'm, 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 this, well, we do this. this you, you well, spread information well, well, this month, the this month I'm going to my local council, which is local government, and I'm going to go and ask, I'm going to find out who the Treasury Department is at Daddy Nall, where I am, where yeah. I am at, and I'm going to ask them for a spreadsheet. Because I want to know money in, our rates and mm. all the other crap that we've got to pay. I want to see money in and I want to see where the money's been spent. Now, I'm a taxpayer. I pay my rates. That there should be something they should be able to hand out to anyone who asks. Is that possible? Well, I'm going to go in and ask for it. Uh, if it isn't, like, seriously, like, how unaccountable would that be? Yeah, that's that's crazy. Uh, like, that if someone is it, taking yeah. your money every month yeah. for services for you yeah, and you can't get... To know what they're spending it on, like absolutely, you should be able to. And if they if they say no, then that's a scandal. But then we're reporting this and say we're going to do an Alex Jones breaking out. Uh, Get yeah. this video to everyone you know. Uh, no, yeah, this yeah. is bombshell information. See, I just want, <laughs> all I want to know is, but the, see, the, the, the point is, at the end of the day, is it, the rates keep going up. Mm. Yeah. It keeps cost every year. They keep going up, right? And they're they're increasing more mm. than CPI, right? Yep. Yeah. So, what are you spending our friggin' money on? Yeah. And we see some of the things they spend it on. Just some of the... They just built new council offices in Denningham. It's like a... It's a it looks like a billion-dollar apartment complex. No, I know. You know, like... Why? Who made yeah. that decision? Was it five people in a room? Did we have a vote on it? I mean, it's ridiculous. So, I want a spreadsheet. I pay my taxes. I want to know where that money's spent. Yeah. And then I could go and say, well, you know... I'll go to the next minute and go, what's this? This is waste. Yeah. <laughs> this is waste. <laughs> I'm not paying my rates this month. No, no, no. I'll just go and run for council and I'll just really destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> Inside out. We are... Yeah, I mean... we. Are, I would say... We should. Um, look, as I... Probably my stance on most government is... It's not absolute anarchism, but it, it's much closer to anarchist than anything else. But I would say that... If you're going to get involved with the government... Make it the local and just the local. And, yeah. uh, uh, you got to start. Right, well, you got to start from the bottom up, right? So if you make a difference in your, if you can, let's just say you can get into council, right? First yeah. thing, yourself. You make a difference in yourself and what you do. If yeah. people see that you're benefiting from the way you've changed your lifestyle, then yeah. they'll jump on board. You don't have yeah. to tell them. They just say, "What are you doing?" You know, and then other people are going to do similar things in other right. councils. Then the same as when you yeah. get on the council. It's a local thing. So you get on the council, and hopefully you haven't got a bunch of bloody developers. And uh, liberal and Labor Party friggin' uh, uh, would be could be yeah, yeah. that they push into local council, and mm -hmm. you can get rid of around them, or you can get your mates in, and we can all get in in the council. Then you can change things from the inside out and benefit. And and I think the number one thing is you just go on a platform as I'm here to reduce your rates. I'm yep. here to make the council smaller. Yep. We don't need guys out there mowing lawns every week when there's no, no lawn to mow in the middle of friggin' winter yeah. or um, summer. Yeah. You know, like in, in, it's the turn half the public land to production of organic cheaper than Woolworths food. Because if it's free, people abuse free. But if you provide people with freaking organic broccoli that's half price for what they pay in for the spray shit at Woolies, yes. and when I get like, they're going to love the local but, wait a but then if I also get a, a single mother with four kids and she comes up to the council and goes, I've got no money, you know, I need accommodation, I need this, I need that. Here's some food stamps. Go down and see that Go down the road there, who's growing all that food. Yep. Give them to him and we'll, re we'll reimburse. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you're right. That we are, I, I would say, you know, with this whole, we have a welfare state, whether we like it or not. And I would say, as far as what poor people need on top of their list is healthy food. Because by default, the poor in this country are guzzling down plastic. Yeah. And McDonald's, and pesticides, and herbicides... And the mystery substances. Oh, the old DDT still floating around. You know, with <laughs> yeah. three numbers, 
you know, between one and a thousand. Oh, it's the five seven one five nine one five two zero. Blah, 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 blah. Like, and put it this way: if you're experiencing substandard schooling, hmm. if you're growing up in a culture of that's basically anti-intellectual, uh, very drug-riddled, yep. and on top of that. Uh, you are consuming brain-destroying, mind-numbing, uh, health-destroying chemicals for food. Yep. I mean, what chance do you get? I would say, you know, you much, no. in in terms of uplifting people, mm. the, the the first step it's has got to be yeah. the first step has got to be health. I mean, you know, uh, lay off the shard, yeah. eat, eat some freaking organic oh. broccoli. <laughs> lay, off, and, lay off the shard to start. <laughs> you, 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 know, right, yeah. you know, I think, I think a lot of it is to do with us. Essentially, I, I mean, when when you do get into a, a, a mind state of wanting to, you know, learn information and wanting to really figure out the world around you when you mm -hmm. haven't before, because I think it's very rare to have someone who actually, you know, find someone who's actually you know, cared about as much as they can about the world from start to finish, you know what I mean? Mm. Usually it's a transformation that you have to make somewhere mm. along the line, you know, where you go, oh, actually, now I want to actually give a shit about the world I live in, and now I actually want to learn as much information as I can. But so these when people you, are marginalised all the time. Anyone, no, anyone, anyone, like, anyone who gets up and break. talks about yeah. political issues, right, not po politics, because mm. everyone goes, well, who yeah. do you vote for? You sound yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a lefty greenie. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, vote yeah. for anyone. I don't, I, don't, I don't like any of them. They're all the same. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as you're talking about political issues, people like to put you straight into a box. Yeah. And they go, well, why? you know, you voted liberal or whatever. But at the end of the day, you can't even talk to people about it because they're not interested. It upsets them. Yeah, no, you know, no, 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 no. It this upsets is my, them. And this no, it is, does. It's, this is my, this is my downtime. I don't yeah. want to talk about that sort of stuff. No, we're on holidays. No, all, all, now it's a weekend. No, this is our fun time. You know what I mean? You can't have those, essentially in Australia, a lot of the time you can't have those like... You can talk about football that, anytime. You can talk about oh, football straight up. I would say, okay. though, I, I would say, football, um, <laughs> you know, after criticising them, as I said, the... the hmm. Part of the, the the culture that we have, say, among among the lower middle class, working class, and so on, I, I've got a lot of faith in the kids. I've spent a year teaching yeah. in in like North Dandenong, sort of like a dodgy suburb, yeah. and I was shocked with how clued in the kids were. Man, the internet is really making a difference. Yeah, and no, I, mean, I think it is. Yeah, uh, the as I said, the educational system is mind-numbingly boring, and it really kind of makes people ask why and how. And you know, like kids were asking me all these questions about the Illuminati, the Masons, the oh, War wow. Libya, the you know, the next place that's yeah. going to get bombed. They were talking about transhumanism. Yeah, that's awesome. like. I was. Uh, I mean, that's interesting shit. That you don't. You don't need fucking home and away, and you don't. You don't yeah, need yeah, this yeah. crap when you've got that stuff. I mean, I just look at the news, and I'm very interested. I'm like, yeah. holy shit, is this a movie? Are we in a movie? Like, look at what's going on here. Like, I yeah. mean, that's all the entertainment I need. What's mm. actually happening in the world? And then there's all this other shit, like spirituality, all this other stuff that once, you know, all the, you know, our physical reality is like, oh, well, this is a bit boring. There's so much, like, you know, other stuff, like, that you can look into. Yeah, but the know. problem is, these people can't, uh, they can ask you, right? Yeah. Because you were born in a generation where there was a computer, right? Yeah. But they can't ask their parents. No, they because can't. Because most no, parents, most right. parents now, uh, yeah. that these kids are thinking, their parents grew up where there was no computer, Right, so they didn't have that information. Yeah. And number two is, half of them couldn't give you a three-line or four-line paragraph on what the communist or socialist system is. Right? No. Like if you said, what's capitalism? They couldn't, mm. they couldn't even summarize it, mm. let alone communist or thing. All, all they get is, oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah I mean... It's collectivism and it's bad. You know, it didn't work. It, you know, they, 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 didn't they work. I love that. I love that. But yeah. they can't tell you anything yeah. about it. Like, I, and, you know, I, I do... Again, I'd probably be along with them to criticize socialism, but for whatever reasons I have, having looked no. into it. But you're it. Come you're on, you're right. gonna say there's good the, and bad. There is good. There is absolutely there good. Is in every the system. idea, the Fashion. idea that we are going to build a system based on a more equal yeah. share of resources based on what people need, based on people's needs, yeah. is a good one. You know, once you but start that, getting to the practicalities of it... To add to that, I think, I think you know, that the, everything you just said is completely great, except 
you know, how are we going to do that? And then everyone goes, well, well, we need to centralize power, and I think that's the next step. Everyone wants, everyone wants to have more of an equal system, and like I'm sure yeah. everyone wants everyone else to have a good life. That's fine, but I think the next step that we need to take is going. We need to get rid of that fucking centralized power and get back some sort of fucking you know responsibility for your own life. Uh, and not yeah. giving away responsibility to fucking councils and to police and all the guys. Me, no, they'll, they'll protect me. They'll they'll sort my shit out. No, 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 no. Wrong. You have to do it yourself. All, you, you're yeah. dead wrong. Like, think about it this way. I mean, people in Australia ask yourself this question. When was the last time the government passed a law that made you more free? When was the last time you said, well, yeah. we figured out that you can actually drive at .06. And the .05 no. was too strict. You could drive. Like, when was anything done? Oh, you, you don't have to wear helmets. <laughs> Why many people died <laughs> no. without I mean, like, sorry, that was like... We did a test. Not many people got brain injury. Oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, marijuana's legal. Whatever. Like, there is nothing. Yeah. I can't think of a single law they passed to make you more free and more capable of making your own decisions. So, they did no. say you could do 200 kilometers an hour if you didn't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what I am so saying is, um... I mean, yeah, it's the bullshit. society needs to be based on... A constant destruction of laws that try to control your life yeah, but without great positive benefits. Yeah, but so, see, like, I mean, uh, sorry to no, I'm interject here, like, I like but <laughs> if there is a law that heart surgery can only be done with doctor by doctors by professionals who have that's that's fine. That's a good law. Like, I'm not. If we have legislation that makes sense that saves lives. You know, we are not going to have a building if these, uh, if the scaffolding doesn't meet these standards. Yeah. That's fine. Have those yes. laws. I mean, there are laws that save lives. Yes. Yeah. They exist. There's good regulations. But in it's this like, country, yeah. it's, it's like any regulation is a good regulation, and your freedom is meaningless. Yeah. There are no privacy issues with filming you all day long in your car. Like, I've actually yeah. seen, we watched the video together yeah. of the police chief saying that. How are there no fucking privacy issues? No, I know. Like it, it's it's my personal property, and yeah, in I my know. personal space, yeah. I should not have you fucking looking at me yeah. to see if I'm behaving. I am not five years old. No, I know, I know. Go yeah. fuck yourself yeah. and your camera. I think that everybody in Victoria should now get tinted windows, yeah. and uh, not even about like, oh, are you doing something distracting or bad in your car? It's just like. Your privacy is worth something, and you should get mad every time you hear about them collecting a ton of data on you in your online activity, or you know, uh, 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 if 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 you're taking a walk through the park and you know someone hears you swear next to your kid and reporting yeah. to the child protective service, I mean, like fundamentally, people should be trusted more. And, yeah, when people are trusted more, when people are free, they may fuck up. Yeah. But in the long run, you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. If you're cushioned and punished and corralled and controlled by the government and watched it every step of the way, you're going to never grow up. No. You're no. going to be this infantile, no. spineless, freaking they want you to creature. Well, that's well, what they want. And that's it. And you're subscribing to this fucking paradigm of fear. It's sort of like, no, I'm afraid of everyone else around me. And I'm afraid of fucking taking some responsibility of doing something properly myself. So I'm going to fucking, you know, subscribe to these people who are telling me what to do. You know what I mean? But where, if you're like, oh, it comes down to being able to, you know, it's hard to even say it, but like being able to like trust people around. Around you trust other members of society. You go, is it possible that you know I can trust them to do the right thing, and you, so you, that I can I can trust myself to do the right thing? You know what I mean? You like, do that every single day. Oh, every you time do, you yeah. post a letter, you're trusting that people are going to do their <laughs> job. No, no. Every time you yeah. get in the car, you're trusting that ten thousand people that you're going to drive past are not yeah. lunatics that are going to turn into your way. Mm. You know, every time, yeah. uh, uh, you know. You fucking catch a cold. You go to the doctor. You're trusting that the guy knows what he's doing. Like you're trusting people. Yeah. That the, 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 our society. You don't have a society unless you trust people. Yeah, we right, generally yeah. in this country have a high level of trust. I mean, when you are, you do. You spend thousands of dollars of your own money, and mm. you send people an invoice, and 
you know what, 98% of the time that gets paid. Like, yeah. that is unheard of in most of the world. I mean, I know Chris has had some trouble with, <laughs> with that. <laughs> but the, that is unheard of, you know. And we already have that high level of trust. Like, why are you eroding it? Why are you trying to make people... Yeah, but then you, you, get back, you want to get back to the other issue before when you were talking about, um, when you were talking about these governments. Not only should they be... Uh, uh, re-looking at all this legislation and, and trying to free it up, right? Instead, mm. of, instead of trying to f fuck you over. It, it should be also the same as these governments. I mean, they talk about economy, right? I know what the word economy means. If I've got good fuel economy in my car, then my car's running really well, you know, I'm yeah. getting from A to B. But the economy in this country, when they, we talk about it in political terms, it's the opposite. It's, it's you know, it's a V8 revving its guts out. You know, we're, we're, we're yeah. sucking up money yeah. like there's no tomorrow. But we, we don't know how. We haven't figured out how we can reduce that. It's no. all about, we've got to get more money. We built more mansions this year, like, we are, our economy's up no. here, like, wait a second, you, 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 uh, uh, highly inferior infrastructure that is going to fall apart in mm. 10 years, you know, mm. like, this country is full of shitty houses, shitty roads, yeah, yeah. that are designed not to last, ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, new cars being bought every three months and, yep. and you know I mean thankfully now the second hand market is so freaking cheap and good because the second hand market is pretty good at the moment yeah, saturated. Yeah. Yeah, saturated beautiful yeah. you know um, I mean also properties like uh, you know the, it's the ultimate kind of, we talked about it the last time but guys I think we should be kind of wrapping it up and trying to keep these at around the 60 minute mark yeah yeah it sounds good yeah, yeah and uh, yeah. This was awesome, and I'll. I think we'll. It took us three weeks in between the two, but I reckon we'll do the. We'll, we'll do this get, in two we'll weeks. Get, yeah, we'll get every two weeks. I think definitely. Yeah, yeah and it it's an enormous amount of fun, and mm. uh, you know, next time we'll, we'll probably do it during the day. It'll be better daylight. All right, so um, thank you very much. There'll be links to other videos coming up after this, and a nice goodbye song, and subscribe, <laughs> like, and 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 like do. Do things that people generally ask you to do on YouTube. Uh, we're not going to be repetitive with it, but yes, we would love it if uh, you know a video like this will eventually reach a thousand views in its lifetime. I think that's that's more than enough audience. Yeah, we couldn't ask absolutely. for more. All right, take care. Much love.